Hello students, I want to talk to you today about something called makerspace. And some of you have heard that word and you know what it is, and for others you may not have any idea. So makerspace is something that we've done um, here in the library for several years now, but we've been interrupted by our virtual learning and COVID. So uh, we're trying to get back on track, but what happens during makerspace is that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, students from UGA come into our library and they work with Bureau students on making things out of lots of different materials. Uh, so sometimes we use technology like robots or electricity or 3D design and other times we use things more like craft supplies like duct tape and yarn and glue and scissors and those kinds of things. Um, so each Tuesday and Thursday we offer something different and we have a sign up that your teacher has and you sign up to come during your recess time. So it's an alternative to going outside. So if you're a person who doesn't like to go outside all the time, this is a good thing for you. But also just know that even if you love going outside, this is not something that you have to do every single week or every single day. It's um, just a few times. So hopefully you'll give it a try um, if you're even if you're a person who likes to go outside. It's also a good chance to work with someone from UGA and get to know them and what it's like to be a student at UGA. We have lots of different um, majors that attend. So we have people in the business school and people that are going into education and lots of other different things. We also have lots of sports um, team members. So somebody from the football team might be in makerspace or basketball or softball or gymnastics or golf or equestrian. There's so many different sports that people are involved in at UGA and you never know who might be in the makerspace working with you um, and you can get to know them. And so um, I'm going to tell you the different topics that we're going to offer for these the months of October and November and you can decide if any of those topics are something that you want to sign up for with your teacher and come on a Tuesday or Tuesday and Thursday during your recess time. Um, so you can see here in the pictures just kind of what it looks like, just at tables, working with a UGA student to make whatever it is you're working on. So the very first thing that we're going to do is going to be one day only. So if you just want to give Makerspace a try, it's going to be on October 4th. And we're going to use something called Ozobots and Little Bits. Ozobots are robots that you program with markers. So you draw a pattern on a piece of paper and the different colors cause the robots to do different things. And so you have to look at the different codes that you can create to try to get your robot to do the things that you want it to do. The other thing is Little Bits where you snap together different magnets to make something either move or light up or make a sound. And so we're going to be doing lots of just experimenting to see what we can make happen. After that, the next topic is going to be duct tape, and that's going to be two days on October 18th and 20th, and you'll use duct tape to make things that you can actually use, like bookmarks, bow ties, hair bows, pockets, um, pocketbooks, um, wallets, all kinds of different things that you can make out of duct tape. So that'll be two days long. After duct tape, we're going to do finger knitting, and that will be two days as well at the end of October. And you basically use yarn on your fingers, and you weave that yarn together to make something. Most people end up making a really long scarf, but you can make other things as well. The next topic after finger knitting is going to be paper roller coasters, where you'll use tape and paper to create a track for a roller coaster, and you'll use a marble to roll along that coaster to see what works and what doesn't, and make changes to your design to see if you can get the marble to go all the way to the end of your coaster. And then the final thing that we're going to work on is going to actually be three days long. So this will be the longest one. If you're interested, it's, um, and it's going to be puppets. So we're going to take two days to work on our puppets and script. And then the third day will actually be a chance for you to perform a puppet show or show off what you've made in some way. Um, so if you're interested in that, that'll be coming up in November. So again, we will take about five students, five or six students from each class each day um, for, for each topic. So think about what you're most interested in. Let your teacher know so that your teacher can sign you up for the times. 
Um, I'll be doing reminders as far as when Makerspace is happening so that you can remember to show up on your scheduled time. And if you have any other questions, you can let me know. But I really hope to see lots of you uh, participating and trying this out in our library, at least at some point um, over the next couple of months.